What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing a race picks for the 2022 Verizon 200 at the Brickyard. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series, headed to Indianapolis, sort of speed on the Indianapolis Road Course for the 22nd race on the NASCAR Cup Series season, and also only five races left to go in the NASCAR Cup Series. Plus, only two spots left to go. This race should be very, very intriguing. The Road Course races have already been a shakeup and already been a playoff shakeup, so this could be another race that plays a major playoff shakeup in into the weekend on the road course. And also, this is the fourth road course race of the 2022 NASCAR Cup Series season of six road course races. So now, let's jump into the picks. Before jumping to picks for today, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So, the weather as of right now is actually looking very, very promising. It's going to be 83 degrees a high, 66 degrees a low, with right now only a 20% chance of rain. For a late summer afternoon, which traditionally Indianapolis is very, very hot, this weather is really, really reasonable. So if you're going to Indianapolis this weekend, you're going to have some pretty good weather to look at. Good weather heading into the weekend. So let's jump into picks. But for those who are new to the channel, here is how I do picks on the channel. I do two suck picks, two drivers who I expect to struggle over the weekend, two underdog picks, two drivers who I expect to have good, good runs, who've historically been good on a certain type of track, so who, are, who are going to continue the really strong runs. And then I do a winner's pick as well, the driver I think is going to win. And then I do the ones you need to keep an eye out for for this weekend. And I've got five drivers other than the guy who's winning that you need to watch out for as well. So now let's get into the picks. Who are my suck picks for this weekend here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway? My first suck pick is a guy that has traditionally really, really struggled on the road courses this year. It just seems like other than one or two guys, this guy has generally not been really, really good on the road courses. And I expect this guy to not be really strong this weekend at Indianapolis Road Course. He didn't run really good the last time we were here. Eric Amarola. Eric Amarola has not been really, really good at road courses all year so far, and I unfortunately expect that he is going to have another really, really bad run. I just have not seen the pace and overall speed out of Eric Amarola historically at this track, and I think Eric Amarola is going to struggle this week in Indianapolis. My other side paper this weekend is a guy that's going to be a little bit of a surprise here, but I look at Joe Gibbs Racing in general, and Joe Gibbs Racing generally has really, really struggled so far on the road course this year. It just seems like compared to last year, they're not at the same level as a team like Hedrick Motorsports, even Trackhouse Racing. And this guy's got a lot of contract stuff going on and has not finished inside the top 10 in the last five straight races. Yes, he got disqualified, which is why he finished last. But this guy, I think, is going to have a bad run, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch just has not been great the last five or six weeks. I know he had a great run at Broke Pocono for the DQ, but I think he's going to struggle this weekend. That 18 team in general, they're having contract talks. It's definitely a major, major distraction for Kyle Busch for sure. I think the bad momentum is going to continue, unfortunately, for Kyle Busch. And now we're going to jump on to the underdog picks for this weekend at Indianapolis. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick is the guy that's generally shown a lot more pace and a lot more speed in the second half of the season so far, and has been really great on the road course this year. He had a really strong run at Sonoma earlier this year, or nearly won that race, and was actually probably the fastest car most of the race, not named Chase Elliott or Kyle Larson, and it was really fast at Road America as well, and has not been a fluke on the road course this year. I think that Chris Buster is going to have a really strong run this weekend. I think he's got a shot for top five. He could be underdog to win this weekend at the Indianapolis Road Course, but I think that Chris Busch has been no fluke this year, and I think he's going to have a really solid run this weekend here at the Indy Road Course. My other underdog pick has probably been the most underrated driver so far in the 2022 season. He has scored already eight, seven or eight top tens up to this point this year, if one top five, already having the most top tens in his NASCAR Cup Series career. And we're going to a road course track where, of course, he has, or he has historically been really great at road course tracks. Could he have a shot at winning? Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell, like I mentioned, has probably been the most underrated driver so far in the 2022 season in the NASCAR Cup Series. Currently sits in the top 20 in the regular season standings. Is just clicking off top 10s after top 10 on a week-by-week -week basis. I think he's going to continue this hot streak that he's been on, and I think he's going to potentially get another top 10 or maybe even a top 5 this weekend in Indianapolis. And now we're going to jump on to the winner's pick. Who is my winner's pick for this weekend? at the Indianapolis Road Course. Now, the last three straight Road Course races have been won by drivers who gotten their first curve victories. I think someone is going to get their second win, though, of the season. I think that streak of drivers getting their first curve victories is going to come to an end on the road courses. And I think that this weekend, that this guy who should have won this race last year, had the fastest car last year, I think he's going to get redemption in this race. 
I think that Kyle Larson is going to get his second win of the 2022 season and get redemption after last year. Like I mentioned, Kyle Larson was the fastest car in this race last year and was miles ahead of the competition. And Larson has been looking for that second win of the year. He just hasn't been as good this year as he was last year. But I think this is the week where Kyle Larson begins to turn around and picks up his second victory 2022. I think Kyle Larson gets it done this weekend at Indianapolis and continues Hendrick's really strong run as an organization. So now we're going to jump on some ones you need to watch out for for this weekend here at Indianapolis Road Course. Who are the ones to keep an eye out on? The first driver you need to keep your eyes out on is a guy that's been arguably the fastest driver of the last five or six weeks. Since we've come back from the break, this guy has finished first, second, first, second, and first. And I don't think he's going to win, but I think he's going to finish second this weekend, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott is a favorite to win the championship right now. He's been having an incredible run. He's got a 1.4 average finish. Four wins this year so far. The only driver more than two victories so far this year and has been extremely dominant and was really fast in this race last year. I just don't think he's going to have the pace to beat Kyle Larson this weekend, but I think he's going to be right behind him. He's going to continue that really strong stretch of races that he's been putting together, and I think Chase Elliott is going to get another top two finish and run really well this week in Indy and continue that really strong season that he is having. The second driver you need to keep your eyes out on is a guy who just got a podium finish with a third place finish this past weekend at Pocono and already has won a road course race earlier this year at Sonoma and ran really well at uh, Road America. I believe he got a top five finish at Road America as well. Just wasn't as fast as teammate Ross just saying in that race, but this guy's going to have another really strong run. He's been doing really good. <laughs> Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez has been doing really good. He's had, I think, four straight races where he's finished in the top nine and four consecutive top tens. It has been really consistent over the last five or six weeks. I think the 99 team has been really starting to click off some really strong runs. They had a great run this past weekend. And I think Daniel Suarez is going to have another strong potential top five run this weekend here at, uh, at basically, uh, Indianapolis Road Course. The third driver to keep your eyes on it is going to be the teammate of Daniel Suarez, Ross Chastain. Ross Chastain has been really, really quick so far this year. It does not matter where you go to. He has been super, super fast. I know Pocono happened, but he was up front there, was contending for the victory over there, and lost the race basically crashing up because he was actually going for the win and battling for the win. So he's going for the win there. Chastain's also been really fast on road courses. He's finished in the top five, I think, in all the road course races so far. I've been near the top five in all the road course races this year. I think Ross Chastain is going to continue that really strong momentum that he's been building over the course of the last few weeks. I think Chastain could potentially get a third win of the year, but he's going to have to be guys like Chase Lane, Kyle Larson, but he will definitely be a threat to win this race for sure. The fourth driver to keep your eyes on is a guy who actually won the last time we are here at the Indianapolis Road Course, and a guy who have a lot of experience in from the Xfinity Series race coming up here the day before, AJ Allmendinger. AJ Allmendinger has been really, really having a decent year where he's been in the Cup Series. He's not been as good this year as he was last year, really outside of Coda. I just haven't seen the overall pace. He's been kind of lacking that speed. I don't think the 16 car has had the same pace this year as they had last year. But I do think AJ is going to be a threat to win. I think if there's any track where the 16 car could potentially steal a victory, I think this could be the weekend. I expect AJ to have a really strong run. I think the 16 car is going to be super, super quick. And I think Colleg could potentially steal a victory and get a victory here this weekend at the Indianapolis Road Course. And the final driver you keep your eyes out on is a guy who has not won a road course race yet so far this year, but does have one win so far in 2022, and that, of course, came in the Daytona 500. On top of that, this guy's been really strong on the road courses generally this year. Not as good as we all thought he was going to be, but he's been super, super strong generally consistency-wise on the road courses, finishing in the top 10. And I think this is a race where he's going to be really, really fast. Austin Eric is the final guy you need to watch out for. Austin is a really good road course racer. He's going to have a lot of experience, of course, from coming here last year. He does have a year experience being at this racetrack. And I do think that this weekend, Austin is going to be a very big threat to win the race. He could steal the victory, get a second win in 2022. It could potentially be a massive, massive threat to win this weekend. Keep an eye on Austin because I think he's going to be a threat to win this weekend at the Indianapolis Road Course. So anyway, that is going to be for the race picks video for the Verizon 200 at the Brickyard at Indianapolis Road Course. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Turkey Sean Smino fight when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon, Patreon as well. Links to the description below over that, and comment with your thoughts on today's video. Tell me who your two suck picks, tell me who your two underdog picks are, and tell me who you think is going to win, and tell me the ones you need to watch out for for this weekend at the Indy Road Course. 
let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, we're going to have a NASCAR news video catching up on all the NASCAR news over the last couple days. Trust me, we've got a lot of NASCAR news to catch up on already, and there will definitely be more to talk about here throughout the rest of the week. I think Thursday, we're going to be taking a look at all the bubble drivers who could potentially make the playoffs, and we still got five races left to go. I think we're going to be looking at Thursday, and then Friday should be another NASCAR news video that should be dropping on the channel. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.